In a previous video, we talked about molarity and how we can use it as a conversion factor to get to the moles of solute to put in our beaker more easily. But what happens when we mix the contents of two beakers together? Let's investigate. In this first beaker, we have 200 milliliters of a 0.1 molar lead nitrate solution. Before we figure out what to put in our beaker, we should address one potentially tricky thing. What's actually in the solution? What species are actually present in our 200 milliliter solution that is 0.1 molar in lead nitrate? Select all that apply. That's right, lead nitrate is an ionic compound and it's soluble like all nitrate compounds. So when it was dissolved in water to make the solution, it would have broken up into ions. What is the correct equation for lead nitrate solid dissolving in water? The only correct answer is this one. When lead nitrate dissolves in water, it makes lead ions and nitrate ions. Now we know which solutes we will actually find in our beaker. But before we put anything in our beaker, we have to figure out how many moles of each solute we have in our solution. How many moles of lead ions do we have in our 200 milliliter solution that is 0.1 molar in lead nitrate? We know that we have 200 milliliters or 0.2 liters of a solution with a concentration of 0.1 molar. Remember that this unit of concentration is a compound unit and is actually moles per liter. This means that we will multiply 0.1 moles of lead nitrate over 1 liter by 0.2 liters to leave us with moles of lead nitrate. When we multiply this out, we get that we have 0.02 moles of lead nitrate. Since each mole of lead nitrate dissolves to make one mole of lead ions, we must have 0.02 moles of lead ions. Let's add that to our beaker. How many moles of nitrate do we have in our beaker? We know that the concentration of our solution is 0.1 moles of lead nitrate over 1 liter and that we have 0.2 liters of the solution. Again, we will multiply 0.1 moles of lead nitrate over 1 liter by 0.2 liters, but we're not done yet. By looking at our net ionic equation for dissolving lead nitrate, we see that there is a coefficient in front of nitrate, which means that we need 2 moles of nitrate for every 1 mole of lead nitrate that dissolves. We add this conversion factor to get moles of nitrate. Multiply through and we get that we have 0.04 moles of nitrate. Let's add this to the beaker. We've done all that we can do with the speaker for now, so let's move on to the next speaker. In this speaker, we have 100 milliliters of a 0.25 molar solution of zinc acetate. What is the correct equation that shows how zinc acetate solid breaks up when dissolved in water? Solid zinc acetate will break up into zinc ions and acetate ions according to this equation. Now we need to figure out the number of moles of each solute that we'll find in our beaker. How many moles of zinc ions are in our solution? We have 100 milliliters or 0.1 liters of solution with a concentration of 0.25 molar. Like we've said before, we'll change the molar unit into moles per liter. So that's 0.25 moles of zinc acetate per liter of solution. This makes it easier for us to see that we can cancel out the liter units by multiplying by volume. When we multiply everything out, we get that there are 0.025 moles of zinc acetate in our beaker, and each mole of zinc acetate makes one mole of zinc ions. So that means that our beaker has 0.025 moles of zinc ions. How many moles of acetate ions do we have? We already showed that there are 0.025 moles of zinc acetate in the 100 milliliter solution. The equation shows us that each mole of zinc acetate produces two moles of acetate ions. This means that there should be 0.050 moles of acetate ions in our beaker. We've done a lot of work so far, but we're not done yet. We want to know what happens when we mix these beakers together. What should we do when we combine the beakers? That's right, we'll combine all of the contents of both of our beakers and we'll combine the volumes. Take a moment to draw your new beaker. Looking at your new beaker, which of the following are true? When we add the first solution with a volume of 200 milliliters and the second solution with a volume of 100 milliliters together into a bigger beaker, the volume of our new solution is 300 milliliters. The only thing we did was put these two solutions together though. Since all acetate and nitrate compounds are soluble, no precipitates will form. So our solution will stay as it is. That means that the number of moles of each ion in the solution won't change, only the volume did. What does that mean about the concentrations of the species in the beaker? Because the volume changed, the concentration of the ions changed. Concentration is moles per liter, as we've already talked about, which means that the concentration depends on the number of moles of the species and on the volume. We just said that the number of moles of each ion didn't change, which means that the numerator stays the same. However, the volume did change, which means that our denominator has changed. Because of this, the concentration of each ion has changed. Now that we've mixed both beakers together and know that the concentration of each ion has changed, we want to calculate the new concentration of each ion. What is the new concentration in molarity of lead ions? Here's where the power of our beaker comes in. 
we need two pieces of information, the moles of lead ions and the volume of the solution. Both are found using our beaker. According to our new beaker, we have 0.02 moles of lead ions and the volume of the solution is 300 milliliters, or 0.3 liters. This means that we'll divide 0.02 moles by 0.3 liters to get that the new concentration of lead ions is 0.067 molar. What's the new concentration of nitrate ions? That's right, the new concentration of nitrate ions is 0.133 molar. We still have 0.04 moles of nitrate ions in our solution, but our volume is now 0.3 liters. This means that we will divide 0.04 moles by 0.3 liters to get 0.133 molar. What is the new concentration of zinc ions? We calculated before that we have 0.025 moles of zinc ions in our solution, and this hasn't changed. The new volume is 0.3 liters, so we will divide 0.025 moles by 0.3 liters to get that the new concentration is 0.0833 molar. What's the new concentration of acetate ions? When we divide the number of moles of acetate, which is 0.05, by the new volume, 0.3 liters, we get that the new concentration of acetate is 0.167 molar. And there you have it. In this video, we learned that the concentration depends on the number of moles and volume. This means that when we have two or more beakers, we calculate the number of moles of solute in each beaker before we mix them together. Then when we mix them, the number of moles doesn't change, but the total volume does. This means that we can only calculate the new concentrations once we mix the two beakers together.